My name's Dave, I'm a lecturer at uh, Choice Training, I teach in plumbing. So today I'm going to show you how to do a 90 degree bend on a Hummel bender to an accurate measurement. Well this is Hillmore Bender, and um, big things with the bender, it's got um, two formers, the first, top, the first former does a 15mm bend at the top, and the good thing with it, it's got actually measurements to mark, mark it around, it helps you with the 90 degree bends, offsets and pass overs, stuff like that, yeah. It's exactly the same process, but you can do it on the bottom of the bender, as you go around, and I'm going to show you today to do 15mm, but you're going to need two guides as well. The two guides are 22mm um, and 15mm. And they go back inside the uh, behind the copper back copper pipe. So the first thing we need to do today is to get a uh, measurement. We're going to um, measure one fifty to start. Start the bender there, okay. and then put it into the the bender itself. Yeah. Most important part is you actually make sure this arm comes up and holds it in place, and you can force against the the, bend, the copper to make the make the bend. What a lot of people do, a lot of people put the, the, the stop too close to the end of the pipe and it actually crushes the end of the pipe, then we can't get it fitting on when we need to uh, add an elbow to it or a T to it. Um, and measure it now, what we need to do now, sometimes a lot of people go from the 1 and the 15 mark on the actual bender. What it does, it actually makes the bend too small because you're only measuring from the 1 and the 5 to the front of the copper. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a small piece of pipe and sit it in the back of the bender I'm going to make sure that the, the centre of the copper is actually in line with the mark I made. Just there. Like that. Then we put our guide in the, to the, back, of the back of the machine. And what I want to try and do now, I want to try and make sure that it bends round so that the, the centre of this mark at the top here is in line with the centre of our pipe. So I'm going to pull the arm round. Like this. And we've now got the centre of the pipe in line with the copper itself. Like that. All we need to do now is now pull the bend the copper out. And then the best thing to do now is now check it against uh, a door frame or a um, table top and this gives an accurate measurement. And also it should be an accurate measurement from the centre of this uh, side to the start of the copper. 